Making some predictions about your fan base, huh, Ben? So here we are again, reviewing another video of the Ghost series made by Mystery Ben, and again he has blown us all away with how much work and skill he and his crew have shown. The newest segment of the story is called Freaking Out, based on the Mystery Skulls song of the same name. According to Mystery Ben's official Tumblr, all future animations will be done using Mystery Skulls for the soundtrack, and we might even get four more videos on the way. However, he has also said he is not 100% sure if it will take that many. It was a rough estimate to finish the story arc. I personally, after watching the sequel, I am super excited for part 3. I am also excited about Mystery Ben announcing that merchandise of the two music videos will be sold soon now that the sequel is out. Using the profits from them to help pay for the crew and speed up the process of the next one. Now, in this review, I won't be picking apart every detail, just the finer ones that you might have missed, and theories about the characters, their past, and what the future might hold for them. So let's get started with the newest and biggest subject of the video, the newly introduced character. Her name, according to Ben, is Shiromori, and from what I can gather, she hails from Japan. How do I know this? She has an official profile page, and after heavy amounts of research, I found out that this word here means white woods or white forest, which could be where she is from or perhaps a clan she is part of. I've been working on who she is since she was announced back in 2015, and I have a couple of theories. The first one is that she is Kona... 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 Thank you! Yes, her. Sayuka for short. In ancient mythos, she is known as the Blooming Princess and is considered as an avatar in Japanese life. However, the wiki explains that this princess is, quote, the symbol of delicate human life. After watching the video, it's safe to say that she's not a delicate princess. So this leads to my second, much stronger theory, that Shiromori is in fact what is called a Kodama. Think of it as the Japanese version of a wood nymph. They live inside trees and are known to move nimbly through the woods and mountains, What's more compelling than her nymph-like features is a quote I found on their wiki page. A Kodama in its outer appearance looks very much like an ordinary tree, but when one attempts to cut it down, one would become cursed and is thus considered to have some kind of mysterious supernatural power. During the video we see that she has several abilities, such as regeneration and a kind of awareness of spiritual energies. But skids! I can hear a few of you saying, if there's a curse involved, who is she chasing? It's quite elementary, my dear Watson. She is in fact chasing Mystery, the pet of the gang. In fact, on the profile page you could see the sentence, you can't run forever, mutt, constantly scrolling by. There are several other clues in the video that she's chasing him down, like the flowers. I explained in the last video that Mystery is a disguised Katsune, and we are given a lot more clues in this video as evidence. And yes, before you say it, I know I was pronouncing it wrong in the last video. I also know I was pronouncing Arthur's name wrong in the last video. So what? Sue me! Wait, actually, don't sue me. Uh, please? I don't have any money. Why do you think I keep eating out of the dumpsters? Um, uh, <coughs> anyways, uh, in this video we're once again shown proof that Mystery lives up to his name, still shrouded in shadows. But if we know that he's a Katsune, then that means he might also come from Japan, which would give a lot more fuel to my Kodama argument. This brings me to my next theory, one I didn't really think about until more evidence was brought to light. Perhaps Lewis is far more stronger than the average ghost. 
It just seems like he can perform so much more than any normal spirit could. I mean, we don't have much to go by in this story's universe, but if ghosts of this caliber are commonplace, why would there be any need for paranormal investigators like the Mystery Skulls crew? For instance, if ghosts everywhere were strong enough to cause large explosions that could level a house, there wouldn't really be need for investigators. I'm pretty sure something along the lines of Ghostbusters cranked up to Rico Rodriguez levels are needed. Up until now, we've only seen ghosts that could possess a single person, and just a single limb at that. And then there's the cave, particularly how much Lewis has influenced it. In the past, it was green and misted over, marked by the ghost that took over Arthur. But now we see that the rocks have turned a more pinkish hue. Wouldn't it still be its original color since the still possessed arm of Arthur was hanging out there? There's also those thorny vines that seem to grow wherever Lewis is. The strange checkerboard splotches all over the place, as well as Lewis's essence pouring out of the place. I think that Mystery might have something to do with his strange powers. Not wanting to lose a close friend as well as keep Vivi happy, seeing as she is, after all, his owner. Again, Katsune are very protective of the ones they consider friends. And whether if it's protecting Louis from death or protecting Vivi from misery, he's more than likely protecting one of the two. If he is a spiritual creature himself, he might have some kind of magical, mystical powers to keep him tied to this world. It would explain how Lewis can create his own mansion, tables, chairs, and possess an entire truck. And it also explains all that excessive energy around the cave. Speaking of, why did he summon a chair, a table, and a coffee cup in the first place? You know, I thought about this for a while and it dawned on me. What if he was talking to those spirits, discussing what he should do next? Perhaps those strange pink spirits we see hovering around Lewis have something to do with Lewis being so strong, giving him a power for some reason. Whether it's mystery or the spirits that contribute to these abilities, one thing is for sure. Most of his power seems related to the locket he keeps near his chest. In fact, I think that the locket itself is the key to everything. He seems to come out of it like a genie's lamp, and when he appears from it, magical energies surround the locket and himself. <laughs> He's pissed! In the first video, the locket seemed linked to Vivi's eyes, as we are shown multiple times that its power has some kind of influence over her. Again, I stand by the theory that Lewis wiped her mind and cursed her to forget after seeing his traumatizing death in the cave firsthand. My theory is that Lewis is cursed in that form because he wanted to protect her from his death. Now let's discuss Arthur's role in this video and the several clues that are given during the time he's on. When we first see him, the first thing you notice is his eyes, with how baggy and tired they look. When I first saw this, it looked like he was being haunted by Lewis, but I don't think that's the case. Looking at his laptop, he's mapped out several different locations and I think I know the answer for what each symbol is. The first one is the tool symbol, which I believe is his Uncle Lance's garage called the Kingsman Mechanics, hence the crown and wrench symbol. The next one is fairly obvious as well, most likely an area with unconfirmed haunting reports. The human Lewis symbols are a bit more confusing. I believe that these are areas that Arthur put down as possible locations for Lewis. That means one of two things. He either thinks Lewis is still alive, or the more likely answer, he's looking for Lewis's spirit. Either way, he knows that something happened in that cave that night. Something that compels him to search for Lewis. And the last symbol, as you can guess, is where they found him. And with that soft smile of Arthur's, I'm guessing that they have been putting in a lot of work to find him and that he's happy that they finally did. It's not clear why he's searching for him, but he might be planning on something. I admit, I don't have enough clues to figure out what or why, but by the looks of things, this video might not even be that long after the first video. It might be, in fact, the same night. There is no real proof of this, but if I were Arthur looking for Lewis, the first thing I would do after finding him is run the hell away. The second thing would be to note it in my search. Now let's move on to mystery once more. 
I noticed he was not all that happy seeing Vivi's eyes glowing while she was sleeping. Perhaps he feels angry that she still doesn't know the truth of what happened? Again, this is speculation cause there's not much to go by. However, he seems rather frustrated all the same. Now we get to the part that confuses me the most. Uh, Arthur's vision of mystery in his Katsune form. For the life of me, I cannot figure out if Arthur was daydreaming this, having some sort of flashback, or the possibility that Mystery had lost his disguise for a moment. The only connection I can make is the music itself, as the appearance of the Katsuni form seems to be associated with the lyrics, if that's what it comes to baby, it's all you guys say to me. Which happens twice in the video. What this means, I can't be sure. I can't really pinpoint what happened here. I guess it pretty much covers all the major mysteries, issues, and theories, but I want to cover a few noteworthy things that might have been missed. Something to think about is all the stuff in the Skull's van. Half of it seems to be a bunch of gear for hunting down ghosts, most likely created by the master mechanic Arthur, who also built his own arm, nonetheless. While the other side holds several charms, wards, and even some weapons. I'm guessing that's Vivi's way of having several different ways to fend off evil spirits and monsters. One more thing. So there's the photo on the laptop, yeah? I bet some of you are wondering who those characters are. That's actually the Pepper family. This is Mr. Pepper and Mrs. Pepper. Owners and chefs of the restaurant Pepper's Paradiso. I think that's how you pronounce it where Lewis worked as a dishwasher, waiter, and babysitter for the three daughters. He was also a food tester there, trying out the restaurant's specialty sweet and spicy meals. It also explains the peppers in the truck dangling from the mirror, kind of a nod to his past. Speaking of that truck, I have one last little note. See, that truck is the same one that passed by the Mystery Skulls van earlier, which means that Lewis is not all that far away, but neither is Shiromori. Hence why I believe it's the same night as the first video. Part 3 should be very interesting indeed. P.S. Chicken Truck Driver is adorable. Somebody wants